Today we're having a nose at the most 6 underrated cars here on GTA Online and as I'm sure you probably all own the oppressor but not me because I'm broke. <coughs> so here we have the AF Drafter, pretty standard colours but nobody really cares about them anyway. And we have some pretty nice stats that complement a nice price of 718 grand. As you can see this design is really sleek and probably sits one of the most realistic cars in the game at the moment. And this car takes inspiration from the RS Coupe, cheeky elements from the BMW and the Ford Falcon and the Audi A7 Sportback. This car is pretty nippy. There is fast cars in the game of course, but you can't complain because the handle is pretty on point at this one. I was very impressed with customization options on this car. There's plenty to choose from in each category, even just little parts like wind deflectors, which you don't see on most car customizations. This car looks absolutely clean in any colour. Um, just for most of my cars, I just like to go all blacked out. Um, when we do like little car meets on this car, you always get um, someone message you saying, oh, what car is that? I just think it's just a really different car. You don't see many people with it. Next up we have the Futo. This is probably one of the cheapest on the list. It's around 9k, although you can find it on the streets, but it is basically free. It's got pretty nice stats to say it's a free car. This car is fully for drifting. It's so much fun to take it out with your friends, especially when you all have a few and you just have a go on and do a bit of drifting. It's quite fun. Uh, the Futo is inspired by a Toyota Corolla and the Nissan Skyline. So at Los Angeles Customs, like it was just customised here, um, I just added in a front and rear bumper, just because I thought it made it a bit more something to it. I did on a cool vinyl, which I really love this one, I did the colours to go with it. The, um, there's not much to do for this one, but I do think it's a fun car just because you can drift in it, and I really love the iced out wheels on this, I just think it just give it something extra. Up next we have the Taurus, I think this is an absolutely stunning car, it comes in at just around 500k and the stats are absolutely stunning for the price. The Taurus is clearly based on a Lamborghini Urus and I think it's an absolute top car to add in the game because I don't think there's many like great SUVs at the moment. But I really like this car, I can honestly say it's one of my favourite for the longest time and I can honestly say I haven't been in a session with anyone else driving this car. Um, I think when you get to top speed the handle is quite light, as you can see it's quite hard to control. Um, I think it has got a lot of speed on it though to be fair, <laughs> but bump. Um, yeah, I, I, I do like this car but it's just that the handling just isn't um, all there for me. I can truthfully say it's so much fun customising this car, there's so much options in the options too. Um, you. You can change this car literally to whatever you want. Um, the only thing I didn't like about the car, the side stripe, you just can't seem to change the colour of that. Like it's always like off-white colour, which was a bit annoying, but I do think if you put the right colour with the stripe, then your car's going to look really neat, as you can see. There's different grills, different bumpers. You can make this car look really mean. So up next, we've got the Novak, and this one comes in at just above 600k. And the stats are quite neat again. Um, can't really complain about the price really. I think the price was actually a good value for the car. So I have a few points to make about this car. Um, first of all, it's clearly... Well, after you've done it up, I'd say it looks like a Jaguar F-Pace from the side and the front. It, li it is so clean, I must say. Um, I was disappointed with the back end of the car. I just didn't think it looked quite nice. I thought they could have made that look a little bit better but the overall car is absolutely stunning. There's a few customization options on this one. I think if you just add a spoiler and change the wheels and the bumpers I think it can make this car look really good to be honest. If you put the right colours on it I think it looks absolutely amazing. So I'm just going to go for this car really quickly because I do think many people do know about this but don't actually own it. It's completely free, you can find it off the streets. It's based off a Mercedes G-Wagon. Customisation options are decent. Uh, you can get it to some speed when you upgrade the engine and transmission and all that. Um, but I just think overall it is a, it's a fun car to have and do up. It's a good SUV and it's free. So the Sultan is one of the dearest cars on the list, coming in at 1.7 million. 
Um, I didn't even realise it was this expensive. I actually won it on the casino. Um, I was quite shocked when I had it sat in my garage and I had a peek to see how much it actually was. But yeah, the stats come quite nice. I actually really enjoy driving this car. I think it's so much fun. Uh, the handle is pretty good. It's got good speed. Um, like I said, I was quite shocked at the price of this car because obviously I won it on the casino, but um, I had it sat in my garage and I actually didn't touch it for the longest time. And I was a bit confused because obviously you have a Benny's one and this one I got completely confused. I thought this was a Benny's one. Realised it wasn't. But when you do take it to the Los Santos, you'd be quite surprised with the customisation options. Yeah, so the customisation options on this are pretty good to be fair. Um, I think you definitely need a vinyl on this one because it just gives it that extra facelift. Um, but yeah, I, I, do, I did quite enjoy uh, doing up this car. I thought, to say it's not a Benny's worth, I thought it came out pretty nice. I just want to say thank you for watching and if you enjoyed the video to subscribe and like the video if you want to and I'll hope to see you in the next video and leave some ideas down below in the comments. Bye!